I call this the Anglo-Indian room. Andrew's the Anglo, I have the Indian. And, and this is all, this is all the Anglo side and this seti and all is the Indian side. Well, you're attached to a point. You have your things, you enjoy them, as long as you have them. With all our moving, I knew the next move is going to come. It's going to be around the corner. So I've always accepted it. And also my parents were refugees, you know, uh, from, from what is now Pakistan. Uh, they had to leave their home. Uh, India had an awful, awful partition at that point. We had millions of people die. But um, they left everything. The home as we are living in it, they just left, they had to leave. The kettle is just boiling. We've had, actually, to be quite honest, lots of joy here. It is beautiful with the high ceilings. You don't see that in a lot of homes. And, of course, the pooch wants attention. So basically, I'm a cook. To be quite honest, I bought this house for the kitchen. <laughs> We cook all our meals at home and we, we, we entertained a lot. What tea you're having today, it's called First Flush. So, <laughs> spring is the first I feel that in the United States, we have far too much square footage. People are unable to keep their homes and manage them well. And this is an alpine strawberry. Just try it. I don't know, these big homes isolate you. There is no family cohesiveness if you're in a big house and everybody's in their own room, the parents are separate. We've always lived like this. This is my sofa, this is Andrew's sofa. <laughs> I have to put my legs up and this fellow will come up here. So then I can read and do whatever I want and relax here and uh, Tashi sits with me. Hmm? He's a good boy. When we left India, we had a couple of things. We had the little Ganeshas, the little bronzes. We had the tables. These tables are basically uh, uh, the ceilings of old temples. Artwork we've bought over the years from India, which basically is our first country of lovely, good things, you know. I just don't want something in my house that I'm not connected to. Again, I have to feel my little uh, <laughs> purchases. Okay, okay, let's go. So from Germany, we went to Atlanta, then we moved to Singapore. From Singapore, we went back to Germany, uh, we came back to Atlanta. My husband got a job in, in Pittsburgh. He said, okay, that's it. So I we came back to Atlanta, and then he got a job here a job in Salt Lake City. And then he would retire, and uh, we'll do what we have to do after that. And so that's why we're moving to DC after this. The garden will be the hardest part to leave. Cucumbers. But as beautiful as this house is and as comfortable it is and as much as I love my garden, for me, life is like, you can move on, you know? I suppose it comes from the philosophy that nothing belongs to you. Or I don't have my stuff or anything, it's okay. One should not have very strong attachment except your own children, nothing else. Everything else is, is replaceable. <laughs> <laughs>